Before going into more detail with algorithm engineering, I will need to say a few things about what is not necessarily algorithm engineering. So algorithm engineering is not about an algorithmic horse race. So what do I mean by algorithmic horse race? It's about uh, this notion that you're trying to find the best algorithm among many competing algorithms. So in other words, you have, you're racing different algorithms, you want to find the best one, or you want to win in a race between you and other researchers that try to develop algorithms. So algorithmic horse race is um, it's very common in, in areas where you try to have a best algorithm. Let's say you want to have the best image recognition algorithm, you want to have the best uh, optimization algorithm for something, and so on. Um, the problem with horse races, well, there are multiple problems. One of them is that you could even have a bad notion of horse race in the sense that you have an algorithm A, you've come up with an algorithm A, you want to publish this algorithm, and you want to prove to the others that this is really good. So you implement this algorithm and then you run out a bunch of data or a bunch of data sets. And then you ignore on data sets your algorithm is slow, then you publish um, the results of the experiments where your algorithm beats all the other algorithms on those data sets. So in that case, you could say that I win and my algorithm is the best. Obviously, this is not a good scientific process. So in, in most areas where these horse races happen, there are typically a standard data set. So if you implement the algorithm A, you have to run it on a standard data set that everybody uses. And if you can then beat all the other algorithms, then you have shown that your algorithm is superior to other algorithms. This seems useful, right? This seems very practical and very useful thing to do, but it's not what algorithm engineering is necessarily about. You can use algorithm engineering to do this, but this is not the main goal. So what are the problem with this? Um, maybe you need to, I'll ask you to pause the video and rethink about a few things. Um, but I'll go over uh, some. One problem is that this process might not be very scientific. In other words, uh, you might have no idea why your algorithm works and why is it fast. If it's fast enough, then you're happy. So that's more like an empirical approach. By the same reason, it might be the case that this algorithm cannot be generous to other inputs. Because you're running your algorithm on standard inputs, you might not be able to get the same results on some other inputs. Okay. And on top of that, this approach typically requires very large amounts of optimization steps. So you implement your algorithm, you try to optimize every little single step of the way, and that takes a lot of time. And it's a waste of time for a researcher, for a scientist. You're not interested in going through every single step of the algorithm, trying to find a slightly more optimized way. Because the more time you spend optimizing code, typically it runs a little bit faster. So you can always cut down a few extra steps, do something um, uh, optimize here and there to, to make it faster. And if you want to beat other algorithms, then you have to do it because everybody else is spending that much time optimizing their code. So it's so that's that's why this is not what algorithm engineering is about. Algorithm engineering is about, at least for me, is about understanding why some things are fast and trying to optimize an algorithm so that it beats all the other algorithm is a waste of time from that point of view. Similarly, building fastest algorithms or implementing a number of algorithms to see which one is the best, these are not necessarily the main goals of algorithm engineering, even though you could use um, some of the philosophy or the, the tools from algorithm engineering to do these things. They are not necessarily the main goal. And as I said in the previous slides, the best way to look at algorithm engineering is this chart and to think of it as a scientific process that we're trying to increase our understanding of algorithms rather than doing um, all these other things. So when it comes to what we do in this course and these lectures, uh, we try to pick some of the best practices that are most relevant to what we're going to need in this course. What we're going to need in this course is to implement some algorithms, run some experiments, and to increase our understanding of how those algorithms behave. And to do that, we will need to do these steps. We will need to form models, form hypotheses, um, evaluate the results, and explain the results of what we get. And finally, maybe form a theory about the input or the algorithm or whatever. And if somehow 
If things don't make sense, if you realize that your hypothesis has been falsified, then probably you will need to repeat this cycle as often as as often as you can until you, you get it right. Okay, so um, we're gonna see an example next, and so hopefully all of this will make more.